Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about a free and easy tool to use in your classrooms called Poll Everywhere. While Zoom and WebEx offer polling tools, this has been my absolute favorite one to use in an in-person classroom, in HyFlex, and in the remote classroom. To get started, you can navigate to polleverywhere.com and set up a free account. In the free account, you can have up to 25 participants respond to any of the polls that you've developed. What is very cool about Poll Everywhere is that they have an add-on that you can embed into PowerPoint so that you run your polls directly with your lecture slide. That's what I want to show you today. When you get started, after you have activated your free account, you'll have a landing page here where you can go in and create your own polls. As you can see with Poll Everywhere, they have a ton of options, multiple choice, word clouds, open-ended questions, so much that you can do with the polls that they have. Once you've developed your poll and downloaded the add-on for PowerPoint, you can go straight into your PowerPoint slides and you'll see that Poll Everywhere add-on here. Just remember, you have to download the add-on directly from Poll Everywhere. Then you'll have the option of creating your polls directly in your PowerPoint slideshow so you can put them together here. And I love that they have a lot that you can get started with. I'll also show you how you can import a poll that you've created on their website. So if I go to insert and then activity, I can go to default and see some of the activities that I've set up here. Let's say we're going to set up the which theory was the most confusing in this chapter. This gives you just a peek at how the poll will appear once it's embedded in your slides. When you select insert slides, there are two options. The default, which will show you the results slide, which is cool. You can see students responding in real time. I'm a huge fan of the engagement process where it gives the instructions first, then the results slide, and finally the locked final results that you see from the survey as soon as it's closed. So we're going to click on that engagement option and then insert slides. It's a fast process. You'll see it's already put together these slides. They are in my PowerPoint slideshow. And when I'm ready, I can bring up this first slide as students are coming into the classroom and I would have this full screen at that time. Then I switch over to this next slide here where we get to see the live responses. And I do it this way because students will see the exact instructions to get started on the poll can start answering and reacting. And as soon as I'm ready to begin my lecture, I can go to this third slide where it's locked in. Here's where we see the responses. This is where we're at with this poll. And it works really well because I'm not switching back and forth between a website or my lecture slides. I can stick to the one complete slide deck that I put together, and then I can run the poll quickly and easily. It's just one of those interactive touch points that you can add to a lecture it's not complicated and you can use this tool in multiple ways. For more tips and tricks on remote instruction, feel free to visit the remote launchpad in D2L under the Discover tab or email me, Katie Wheeler, at remote.instruction at ppcc.edu.